Matches, number 21, Dominique Wilkins. The other forward, standing six foot eight, number 11, Jared Lucas. The head coach of your home team. Let's hear for your Oklahoma City Spurs. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. It's Wednesday, hump day, and we're ready to bring you all the action. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, DA. It's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. We've got Petrovic. Chris came in out there with Nowitzki. Then it's Marley, and it's Price in at the one. And for Oklahoma City, they've got Wilkins. Lucas is out there with Wallace. Then there's Hardaway, and it starts in at the two. And so often we have these epic guard matchups, and tonight it's all about the front court and not the back court. But nonetheless, it should be fun. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin. These front courts are big, they're dynamic, they're. Kamen kicks to Price. Inside. And that one's good by himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And so it's the Mavericks getting on the board first. Here's Wilkins, and Wilkins with the stop. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Marley passes to Nowitzki. Down low, Petrovic, and a beautiful feed leads Price against Starks. The pass to Marley. Here's Kamen. Shooting high. Pass to Wallace. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Lucas kicks to Starks. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And, a, and trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. The Mavericks have gone two for four from the field so far today. To the inside. Count it. And uses that side scare. Hardaway passes to Wilkins. Back to Hardaway. The second chance effort. And Wallace finishes inside. And it's Hardaway again missing. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. But on the three. And so it's Wilkins who brings up the ball for the Thunder. It's a three-point game. Pass to Starks. Now here's Wallace. And the got a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Now here's Marlon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Shot clock at six. And he gets the... Passes it to Starks. Here's Wilkins. Wallace outside. Here's Hardaway. Finally gets one to fall. He's Dallas, no good that time either. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. And Hardaway gets it to go. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. McCollum against Scott. And the pass to Marley. To the middle. Here's Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. Eight under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Kicks it to Marley. And Scott has it in the corner. Drills it from outside. The shot. No good. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. McCollum, no good. Mavericks leading by six. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions. You can build on this lead. 
Now here is Harris. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Gill, the pass to Plumley, makes it off the glass. And with those points, he puts an end to that 10-0 run by Dallas. Outside, Scott. Pass to Robinson from outside the arc, and the three ball is good. Control the pace, assert their will, nice. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Harris inside, guarded by Robinson. Slam. Wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Then the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Now here's Boozer. Eight points his last outing. Passes it to Gill. Now the dish to McCollum. Lock at six. Goes up from the top of the key. Again the thunder. Stay in control of this one. McCollum against Murray. Six to shoot. Over McCollum. Trying to get open as Haywood. Well, McCollum's speed can make him tough to shake as a defender. He's able to just stay in front of you and contest the shot. Pulls it from 20. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got four rebounds in this game. The feed to Starks. Inside. And Lucas slams it in. The Thunder. They trail by six. And evaluating defenders goes well beyond blocks and steals. So, Doris, when you're doing a game, what are some of the things that you look for and that teams are looking for? Activity. Attention to deep. Just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Marley against Wallace. To the paint. Here's Petrovic. And that one is stuffed right through. It's the result of the work put in. Now here's Lucas. Dishes to Starks. Right side Wilkins. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance point. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got six rebounds here tonight. Hard away against Price. And with that, the Maverick died in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate. Really special. This guy can knock it down as if he played in the backcourt. Now here's Lucas. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. He kicks it to Starks. Drills the three-pointer. Starks. No good on that one. Nice defense from Wallace. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Throws it down as the official. Pass to Marley. Here's Petrovic. Novitsky right side. Price outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Marley no good. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. And I'm a but sometimes to no avail. Now here's Marley. Came in, kicks to Price. And stolen by Lucas. Jumps up, and Lucas slams it in. Dallas again missing. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. And give McCollum credit. It's big for his confidence when he's able to muscle these shots in. Robinson for three. Connects from three-point range. To grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Boozer passes to Harris. Here's McCollum. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. There's the pass to Kuzma. 
Gets a very good look and converts. Bubble playoffs, Jamal Murray. I mean, remember, he had a 50-point game, and Murray averaged over 26 points, helped Denver make it to the Western Conference Finals. We saw Jamal take his game to another level. Lando. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Pass to Petrovic. He kicks to Robinson. Here's Nowitzki. And oh boy, a lot of control him outside. And there's a minute 45 left here in the second. Here's Gill. And they get it back. Here's Boozer. Plumley trying to break loose. Got it. Here's Gill. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And it's McCollum in the corner. Nailed from three-point land. Hot mechanics finally in sync. Nowitzki outside. Fires high post. And he converts the layup. Nowitzki's got his third basket of the night right there. Such a presence inside with the ball in his hands. Good decision by Dirk to put it right back up. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Mavericks ahead. They're up by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard-fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking and get the ball in the paint. Use that length to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. On extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Heading into the second quarter, the wheels started to fall off the cart as they were outscored by a healthy margin, but were still able to limp into halftime, nursing a one-point lead. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Great work on the glass. Hustling and showing more desire than boxing out. That's what they have to do. That's the recipe for success. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. That's just weak perimeter D. Can't let a team sink that many threes, especially at such a high percentage. They need to come out in the second half and just do better. Otherwise, the barrage will continue. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Nice game, great performance by Dominique Wilkins. Oof, that first half looked like a dunk contest mixtape was just destroying the rim. Yeah, this guy, he plays fast, he's aggressive, and if you let him get to the cup, there is nothing that you can do about it. Deep three-point range. The Mavericks pull it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And they pick up two. Good D by McCollum. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can even... And it's Nowitzki missing. Thunder have gone one of three since starting the second half. In that time. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Knocked loose. Hardaway with the steal. This one. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Now the pass to Wilkins. And he comes up with the deuce. Wilkins has got the lead up. And the rebound goes to Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Here's Petrovic. And contact on the shot. Starks dishes to Lucas. Here's Wilkins. And it's sent back by Kamen. Here's Petrovic. And he hits it to tie the game up. And right there is the difficulty in defending Petrovic. He can burn you from deep as well as off the dribble. It seemed like 2022 was all about showing up naysayers for Kyle Kuzma. It did seem, Greg, like he came in. Lapsed long. Obviously something that is very serious and something they don't take lightly. 
Coming back tonight is not an option for him, and they're hoping he won't have to miss too much time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the status report there, David. There's no question, because even if you know what's wrong, individuals have different healing times. The time frames can be totally different for similar injuries. Trains the three-pointer. But I do know they have other options they can go to. Here's Hardaway. Here's Lucas. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have it. And it's Scott in for Mark Price. Oklahoma City leading by six. Outside Wilkins. Here's Lucas. A shot's good on the assist points. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Petrovic with the pass to Keenan. Two for Oklahoma City's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Hardaway passes to Gill. An easy two points on the layup. Wilkins. Murray against Hardaway. Shot clock at five. Wilkins finds Plumley. Buries it from three point range. Dallas again missing. Oklahoma City leading by 11. Here's Gill. And the layup's good off the glass. Here for Kuzma. Misses off the right iron. Oklahoma City's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. The shot's good. And a miss there on the triple. Mavericks trail by 15 from 20 feet out. And it's Robinson that time on the assist by that one doesn't go. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Back to Robinson. Trying to get open is Nowitzki. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's. And there's the pass to Boozer. Lucas inside. Working on Haywood. And that'll Haywood. Pass to Scott. Murray dishes to Haywood. Back to Murray. Inside. Here's Nowitzki. And foul on the. Price against Hardaway. Shoots over Price. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Stavitsky in at the center, filling out the middle. Four on the shot clock. From deep, Oklahoma City gets a new shot clock. And fits with the rebound. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Here's Starks. The second effort, and fuck. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Hardaway with a wide open look. Cans it from downtown. Hardaway has got 11 points here in just the second half some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Kamen. Is it to Plumley? Wilkins up top. To the paint. Goes up the baseline. Five on the clock. And he gets... Kicks to Boozer. Lock at six. Hardaway for three. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Kept alive. Here's Boozer. Over Nowitzki. Puts the fade away right on the money. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Sometimes you just have an off day. And this is one of those games for him. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Back to Price. In the corner, came in with it. The three from Marley. Keeps it alive and staying with the play. Nowitzki in the quarter. Well, not sure who was responsible for the blockout, but this guy got in there and dug out his points. Back to Hardaway. Plumley trying to break loose. It's good on the putback. 
just that being considered what's the first step in that improvement a lot of times it's bringing in a great defender like a pat beverly or an andre iguodala a defensive anchor who also inspired mavericks trail by 21. price looking it over pass to petrovic that's in coming off an assist from price a rebound by marley Marley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Price with the ball. Wilkins picks him up. Oklahoma City leading by 17. Hardaway with it. Wilkins outside. Sinks the triple. Wilkins has got not tolerant of certain words that are used in public. Now here is Hardaway. Another shot. And another shot, and Boozer puts it in. That gives and 17 rebounds. The pass to Marley, back to Price. That's tipped. Hardaway with the steal. Two free throws. Novitsky kicks to Kamen. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Shot clock at five. Petrovic with the pass to Kamen. Here's Novitsky, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. Tough break there, shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. To the middle. That's good from Novitsky on the assist from Robinson. Wilkins gets the rebound. Wilkins has got nine rebounds now tonight. Pass to Starks. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Wilkins up top. Defended by Novitsky. There's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in someone else's hands. Now, here is Robinson. Goes back up. And the layup good by Novitsky. Despite getting hit, just showing how tough he is. Passes it to Starks. Pulls up on the wing. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Of the water, a clinic was put on display here today. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. They are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Back to Price. Hardaway with the steal. Drops in the breakaway layup. Make, uh, I know their fans <laughs> appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Mason, your game has expanded some, and what has that process been like? You know, you just learn something new every game. You have to study your opponent and see what's going to be open, but... Um, some of the constants have to be rebounding defense, bringing energy in, and that's always going to get you a little bit. Well, you had the whole package tonight, Mason. Thanks. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long. All right, we got Mark Dagonal versus Jason Kidd, the coach. He's also a player in the league. Just haven't seen him yet. Um, you would think it's his dunks and blocks, but it's the team. <laughs> Matchup report. Uh, Thunder obviously just won. But it doesn't really look like they should have, though. We got a couple averages. Well, actually, no. They have more. Uh, the Mavericks have more averages than the Thunder. Um, of course, you got Tim Hardaway, John Starks, Dominique Wilkins, John Lucas, oh, Jerry Lucas, excuse me, Mason Plumley versus Mark Price, Drazen Petrovic, Dan Marley, Dirk Nowitzki, In the Caveman, Chris K Man, and um, it's a, it's a it's a lineup that Mark Cuban I think would like. He likes white point guards. It's pretty well known. Glenn Robinson, of course, his son is in the league. Glenn Robinson the third. Carlos Boozer, Jamal Murray, uh, Mason Plumley, 
And then, um, of course, you have Jamal as a backup. <laughs> Brendan Haywood, who actually played for the Mavericks at one point. I think he was on the championship team, if I'm not mistaken. Tobias Harris. You got Kyle Kuzma. He's from Detroit, but eh, he kind of seems to fit. Kendall Gill. Byron Scott used to be in the West Coast versus CJ McCollum. Greg Anthony. Trey Jones, uh, D'Anthony Melton, Nazir Little, you got Xavier Tillman, You're getting to the bench bench now, Kendrick Williams, uh, Precious Achua, Derek White, who cut his hair recently, and subscribe for more Premier Week.